Hi, it's a uh, Tuesday, Thursday. What day is it? It's Groundhog Day. Feels like every other day, doesn't it? It's 6:11. It's 31 degrees and foggy. Too much melting snow in the air, I guess. But looked more like California fog last night in Minnesota coming home. But we didn't crash into anybody because I'm an expert uh, driver in the fog having endured it for years in California. I don't know why I left you and went to get water and left you with music, but if you're still here, good, good for you, because that was a whole two minutes, I think. I tweeted that concert, uh, that's Gus Gus, by the way, uh, from a hostel in Iceland for an Icelandic music festival that was taped for KEXP in Seattle. I tweeted that whole concert link, but amazingly, some of you still don't follow me on Twitter, so I will probably also embed it on the W later, because I keep listening to it, and it's just a good use of 23 minutes listening to music, I think. Today is also my sister's birthday! Hooray! She admits to being 34, or 27, if you... Look her up on the 7. But happy birthday, Lise, a.k.a. Minerva, a.k.a. probably a whole bunch of other aliases I don't even know about. But I know her as my brother's wife. I assume they're still married. There really is nobody else out there where they are, so they kind of have to stick together. Them and the animals. Anyway, uh, your present is going to be a Minnesota Muskies t-shirt, and I hope you will tell me which size to buy before I buy it on Saturday. Let's talk about the Muskies. What a dismal, terrible, depressing game that was to watch. They had a lead, but they didn't have it very long, and then they just kind of dug themselves a hole that they just couldn't get out of. Beasley couldn't hit a shot. Johnson was Johnson. Darko was Darko. Berea, even Berea was like, there were points in the game where people were like, ah, get Beret out of there, he can't do anything. Hopefully, it's just a minor setback, and again, with one more win on Friday in a non-televised game, non-televised here, beating the Nets. Once again, the pieces will be in place for them to try to hit 500 Saturday against the... somebody. Are we playing the Rockets again? Yeah, we are playing the Rockets again. So, we're one-on-one -on -one against the Rockets. 
We beat them in Houston and lost at home. I thought we were 2 and 0, but that's the one team we have the one Texas team we have lost to, so I don't know. I'm I'm going to be positive. We're going to win Friday and we're going to win Saturday and we're going to be 500. And sooner or later I'll remember to post a one third of the way through the season NBA update on the W for us all to talk about. Because obviously you're not going to do it. I got to do everything around here, which is fine. That's the deal. I understand. I can deal with it. It's cool. Let's pick up the outstanding, not outstanding quality, but outstanding in that I haven't addressed them yet, comments on the W. Ralph is back. I don't know if you noticed. Hi, Ralph. Is that really your real name? I'm suspicious. But he had a basketball question for me because he's trying to suck up to me and make sure I don't ban him again. You're this close, buddy. You're always this close. Uh, am I scared that Kevin Love has too many minutes and it will affect him later in the shortened season? No. He's young. I, I think the shortened season helps all these young dudes. So, no. I don't. Hopefully by then there will be some people who can spell him for a bit. Uh, I'm thinking <laughs> I'm thinking Brad Miller now, but somewhere on that team, somebody will be able to pick up the slack if he needs to take breaks. Anyway, Lisa says she's all about the angry fish. That's why you're getting a t-shirt. Um, and that's already been covered. Doug asks, do you ever miss wearing a tie to work? What'd you do with all your old classics from the tie of the day thread? Over on the seven, which is the W from seven years ago, we are slowly making our way through my entire tie collection because I wore a tie to work every day from the time I was hired, January 10th, 2005, through about Labor Day, I believe, which was a hundred and some odd ties. The answer is that they are where they ended up after I wore them, which is inside a Rubbermaid plastic bin in... Not in the basement now, in the attic. It's not even in the basement where I can actually get to it. So it's in the attic. And I still have them all, and I'll never get rid of them. Because I never get rid of anything. And someday, the day will come when I will want to cycle through my ties once again. We'll all be for the better when we can all enjoy me wearing some of those crazy ties that I wore. I should tell you about Still Pacific, a local band whose singer is a friend of uh, my wife, and whose drummer is a friend of my wife and myself. And if you're on the YouTube watching this, why don't you put Still Pacific in the search box and watch their video for Mind for the Time, which is really an outstanding video, and you never know they were a local group on a local budget with the way it came out. It's pretty cool. And the song's kind of catchy, too. So check out Still Pacific. Was that it? I think I got a comment on Facebook, which I'll have to pull up. I think I did. It was from Phil. And I wish I knew what I had said in particular to set him off. Because I like knowing what uh, what tickles Phil. I'm sure Phil is really excited about that right now. But he said, he said, Damn it, CRZ, you're so full of random knowledge that your knowledge comes back around to be all knowledge. I wish I knew what that meant. I'm sure it was me going from here to there to there. And somehow it tied together in a way that was very amusing to him. And maybe not to you. And I've already forgotten it. But he extends the offer. If you're ever out in Seattle, come join us for trivia. Else you're just a wanker. I love trivia. There was a time when I was unbeatable in trivia. Now I'm old. And things that I knew are here, but I can't access them. So I'm not as helpful in trivia as I was before. But I tend to find that usually when I'm with a certain group of people, and it will be a certain group of Minnesotans usually, there'll be one question that nobody in the room will know the answer to, and that's where I can shine, and, and hopefully we just win by one point then, and I can say it was, it was all me. But you may have figured out I'm a repository for certain trivial trivia, so it's a good deal. I think that's all I have. And I think it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to say goodbye, and we'll have a big Friday thing tomorrow, and I'll talk about Frank's hot sauce then, because I didn't do it today. And what else was I going to talk about? 
That's it. Happy birthday, Lisa. Covered. Yes. I'll see you tomorrow. So long. Thank you for watching.